Well, Texas Governor Greg Abbott seems to be doubling down on his state's border control, kind of dissing the Biden Justice Department. Anyway, he joins me now to talk about it. Governor Greg Abbott, welcome back, sir. It's great to see you. You know I always miss you when you're not on the show. Uh, that's why I'm back, uh, Larry. We miss you a whole lot also, uh, and it's, it's always a pleasure to visit with you. So, uh, thank you, sir. Anyway, um, you uh, just announced uh, today, I guess, you're authorizing the Texas National Guard and the Texas Department of Public Safety to return illegal immigrants to the border. And this is kind of a direct, uh, well, I don't know if it's a direct response, but this is kind of really in your face to the Justice Department which is saying you can't do that stuff. Operation Lone Star is under investigation, blah, blah, blah. So this is your response? Well, uh, this is actually a response to the overwhelming number of people who are coming across the border. Larry, I got to emphasize this, and that is uh, it was only a year and a half ago that we had uh, the lowest border crossings in decades under President Trump. Uh, and now under President Biden, we have the highest border crossings ever, just over the 4th of July, just in one sector of the five sectors in the state of Texas. Uh, they, app they apprehended about 5,000 people. Uh, under Joe Biden's own, own calculations, they say to expect to uh, be apprehending about 18,000 people a day, that adds, uh, adds up to more than 6 million people a year. And so clearly what's going on on the border is unacceptable. And, and Larry, your audience may remember it was just uh, about two weeks ago that there was this tragic uh, uh, instance uh, about this uh, tractor trailer truck in the state of Texas where 53 people lost their lives uh, in the back of that truck. Importantly, that's not the only time that something like that has happened. Uh, we're having deaths occur more frequently. Uh, in fact, an international organization labeled uh, the, the Biden's border between uh, the United States and Mexico the most deadly border in the entire world. Mm. And so what Texas is doing, we've taken unprecedented action to respond to this, including building a border wall, deploying the military, laying down uh, military grade uh, razor wire, and now doing the unprecedented, and that is Texas law enforcement and National Guard, uh, anybody they apprehend coming across the border illegally, they will be returning to the border. Governor, why is the Justice Department fighting you on this? That's the part I didn't understand. They're investigating Operation Lone Star, which, again, is uh, using uh, the uh, Public Safety Department. They're, they're saying <clears throat> you're, you're discriminating on the basis of race and national origin. Uh, I would think you're uh, just trying to defend the border. There's no discrimination. But you tell me, why are they after you on this? Well, it's, it's because uh, the Biden administration, uh, they ran, uh, President Biden ran for president on the basis of uh, having open border policies. Uh, and what Texas is doing uh, is disrupting what they wanted to achieve. Uh, they want open border policies. They want all these people coming across the border. They do not want to follow or to enforce the immigration laws of the United States of America. Uh, and Texas is stepping up, trying to compel the Biden administration to actually follow the laws passed by the United States Congress. Uh, and we will continue uh, to press that cause because it is, it is essential uh, for American sovereignty, for Texas safety, uh, and for the United States of America, uh, for people to be able to come to, to the United States legally, but not illegally. Yeah, I would say you're discriminating in favor of America law and order and American sovereignty. I mean, I don't understand the justice. Well, I do. You're right. It's all part and parcel of this open borders policy. That's what they're trying to do. Um, Governor Abbott, let me switch gears quickly. Um, even though the Supreme Court ruled against the EPA, the EPA is now talking about some new ozone rules that would absolutely decimate uh, the Permian Basin in your state. Uh, which I think is about 40 percent of all the oil produced in America. Uh, can you stop this? I mean, I would think with the new Supreme Court decision, you could probably take them to court and put the whole thing on hold. But you tell me it would be a crippling blow to, uh, to the uh, oil and gas business if that thing ever went through. 
Well, so our, our fellow Americans need to know this, and that is, while well, Joe Biden is talking out of one side of his mouth, saying that he wants to see gas prices go down, and he wants uh, uh, American producers of oil to produce more, at the very same time, Biden's EPA administration is trying to impose uh, more regulations uh, on the oil and gas sector in the Permian Basin, which is in West Texas, which is the most prolific oil field in the United States of America. The result of the EPA's action will be one of two things. Either it will uh, limit the production of oil and gas, or it will uh, cause an increase in the cost of the production of the oil and gas. Either way, uh, what Biden's administration's EPA is going to do is increase the cost at the pump when people buy gasoline. So what Joe Biden's EPA is really doing is trying to further increase the cost of gasoline uh, as Americans go to the pump. And Americans need to know that Biden is being very two-faced about this whole situation. He's taken oil from the United States of America and sending it to countries far and wide uh, across the world, as opposed to using that oil and refining that oil so that we can have lower cost gasoline in the United States of America. This isn't, this isn't Putin's uh, price increase. This is clearly and directly Joe Biden's price increase at the pump. Well, also, Governor, as you well know, these kinds of moves that reduce supply and raise prices here at home play right into financing Putin's war machine. I mean, Putin's the winner on this. Putin loves high prices. He loves high prices even more than Biden loves high prices, although for different reasons. It's outrageous. It's inexplicable. Uh, who knows why he's doing it? Uh, all we do know is that uh, what President Biden is doing is a adverse to the United States of America as a country. But most importantly, what Biden is doing is adverse to all of your viewers right now by taking action that's increasing the price of the pump. Um, Governor, just last one on this crazy ozone regulation which actually, in some sense, might knock out the entire Permian Basin, depending on how it's implemented. Can you take them to court? Can you and your attorney general uh, just haul them off in the court? Because I think you'd win after the Supreme Court decision. Well, 100 percent we can. And so uh, when I was the attorney general, I fought back against then-President Barack Obama on a very similar uh, strategy by Barack Obama's EPA. Uh, I know for a fact that Texas, uh, if Biden does not draw down this discretionary regulatory effort by the EPA, the state of Texas will be taking le legal action against the Biden administration. And I feel very confident that we will win. Yes, I think you're probably right. Um, Governor Greg Abbott. You just need to come around more frequently on this show. You know, you're a star. I'll do it. And we love having you, and you and I have known each other many years. You just got to come back more often, Governor. <laughs> it's great to see you, sir. Thank you, Larry. You